In this video, we are going to create a Power Automate flow that will send an email anytime a record in Salesforce is created. You might need visibility on specific records when they are created, and this is one way to achieve that. Let's get started. We'll hop over to Power Automate, and this will be an automated cloud flow. We'll name this flow send email when record created. And this is a Salesforce trigger. So if we search for Salesforce, when a record is created, go ahead and create. Now it's going to ask you for the Salesforce object type. And if you're connected to your Salesforce instance, you'll have a huge menu of all sorts of different object types. For this example, the object type that I want is subscription. So when a new subscription record is created, then I'll get a notification. So I'm gonna select subscriptions, and then I'm gonna open the advanced options. Now I don't wanna get an email for every single subscription record that gets created. Instead, I want just a specific to get a notification for a specific type of subscription record. Um, and so for this example, uh, let's say I want to get notified when a subscription is created where the product code is a specific, has a specific title. So in that case, what we can do is we can run filter query and we're gonna use product code and then the equals, which is just EQ, and then in a single quote, I want to I want to um, search specifically or, or get notified specifically when the product code is LR training. So what this product underscore code underscore C is is the API name. And if you just put the regular field name in there um, as uh, product code, then it's not going to um, the flow is not going to uh, run correctly, or it's not going to run at all. So in that case, you need to get the specific API name so that you can put the API name in there equals, and then the name of the um, specific uh, product code in this case. So what you can do to get the API name is you can hop over to the object manager. And um, for this example, I want to pull up a subscription record. So I typed in subscription. If I go to subscription, and then I go to fields and relationships, and then from here, I can search for the field product code. Here's product code, and here's my uh, field name or API name. So I can go ahead and copy that and paste that in here. So here we go. I'm all set up now. When the record is created and the with the specific product code of LR training, then it's going to uh, send me an email. But of course, we need to add in our next step, which is our send an email. We're going to use this send an email v2. And I'm just going to have it sent to myself. And I'll just put subject in here, new subscription record created in Salesforce. Now in the body, a couple of cool things I can do here is I can pull in some dynamic content from my when record is created. So what I want to do, for example, is a couple of things here. I want to get notified on um, what, what is the subscription number. So what we can do is just type in some, some text here, the so subscription number. And we can grab the dynamic content. So it will pull in the subscription number. And then we can also put, the, let's say I want to know um, which account is this for. So we can go to subscription account. And let's say um, I want to make it easy. I want to be able to include a link. So I can click on the link and it'll take me directly to that subscription record. So what we can do for that actually is we can grab the URL from um, just of any subscription record um, that we have. And so I'm going to put that URL in here. So we're going to call this link to record. And then I'm going to paste in my URL here. And then what we can do is we can do the forward slash, and then we can grab the subscription record ID, and we're going to need another forward slash 
forward slash and view. And that's going to take us directly to uh, the subscription record. So it's kind of nice. You can generate your own link, include that in the email, and make it a little bit easier to hop over and view that subscription record. So we're going to go ahead and save. And now that's all ready for testing. Um, so it's another great example of using these Salesforce connectors to automate some tasks. Hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions, comment down below. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Thanks everyone for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.